what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? 6 9 has been forced to flee the hideout he's been living in since he was freed earlier last month from prison because someone leaked the address. A fan videoed him hanging out on his balcony. And she's all uh, giddy. She's like, ah, that's 6 9 6 9 look, this is 6 9 he's, he's right there. Next thing you know, big old crowd has gathered outside of the address. Police had to come through and disperse the crowd. He was trying to get a look at him. Everybody want to see 6 9 The dude has been laying low to try to avoid members of the nine trade gang because he sent a lot of them up the river. He told, and 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 he, and he told, and he told, and he told some more. I'm hoping he don't tell on me and I don't even know him. Boy, he was telling. And now he's never, I don't think, going to be able to just be comfortable to live anywhere. I think he's going to have to watch his back for the rest of his days. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, they ain't going to do nothing to him. That's possible. I wouldn't risk it, though, if I was him. I would never get comfortable if I thought someone had it in for me. Well, I would go in the office. But nevertheless, I would never be comfortable. I just don't underestimate people like that. What he did was pretty egregious. What's interesting is 6 9 is not in any type of witness protection program. And I'm not even sure something like that would work for somebody like him because he loves being seen. Technically, he's not in any violation of his parole conditions because he was on his own balcony. The feds have been made aware of the move. So it's not like he's gone rogue. You know, it's kind of one of those situations where you watch the train wreck, you know, you're just waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you know it's coming. We don't know how it's coming, but we know the train wreck is coming. He came out blazing. He got a new song where he just cussing everybody out, being very disrespectful. And I looked on that view count, man, that thing had 50 something million views in less than 24 hours. 57 million views. You can't tell me people in this country don't like snitching. They love snitches. Here's something to think about. If Takashi is allowed to continue to move around without any harm being brought to him, the message is you can do whatever you want to do. Commit any type of crime you want. And if you get in a jam, just give up somebody and you can go home. The more people you give up, the less time you get. The flip side of that is if they knock his noodles, the message is don't mess with the nine trade blood gang. That emboldens them and makes them even more threatening. That's bad for the community. This is a lose lose situation. How do y'all think this is going to play out? I think that dude is so attracted to negative energy. Even if the past was to be forgiven, 
I think that he would create some new negative energy, new enemies. And perhaps the next time, he won't have a chance to snitch. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?